It's all about making money so you can give back the money. What's up, my people? Back in the yard, doing repairs. New radiator for the Kenworth. What a failure it was. You know, most radiators blow out where you think they would. But this radiator, not in the aluminum core, it has a plastic housing on the top and the bottom. And the neck, on the, mine, this is the new one, on the neck right here in this mold has a little hairline crack and it's weeping out and, and spraying on when it gets hot. Now I temporarily put JB Weld on there Friday when it first blew. So initially when it first blew, I got it back to the yard, looked at it, blah, 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 ordered the new one. It wasn't coming in for a week. I had to do some trucking for some stone. So I decided to put some JB Weld on it, let it sit two days, went and ran this morning and it was weeping right in the uh, yard at the quarry. So ran it back home. Needless to say, I didn't get the stone. So right now it's late in the day, draining the fluid it takes is 16 gallons, I believe. You guys will be with me through the troubles and tribulations of this video to see if I can do what Kenworth said I couldn't do um, to cut back on time. That's my big thing is cutting time and needing people and equipment to lift this up out. So well, we're going to see if we could do that. Um, pretty basic, but just as right now, I'm just draining the coolant. And again, this is on a radiator change at a Kenworth T800. For all the newcomers, I'm Mike owner operator of tri-county masonry also known as dirt boss on youtube dirt boss 42 on instagram and dirt boss 42 on tiktok so check them all out i always got short little videos leading up to these videos the longer ones so again just draining the coolant we'll get back with you and we're trickling on the last five gallon bucket we're doing good we got five gallons in that one that one's probably four gallons and there's gonna be about uh almost four there so you do the math so there's 12 and a half 13 gallons in this thing obviously we're going to take this off we're going to take some bracketry off there's floor clips on each uh on the radiator just these clips right here and as you see they're just metal clips that go in here and then they pull out studs so there's four on the top four on the bottom if i take this bracketry off and take this off here the hood bracket i think this radiator if i take the bo bottom support off should slip up out of there that's my goal not taking everything off and then slipping it up out of there when this whole bracket is out they wanted me to take this bracket the shroud the fan everything set it down here pull the four pins and then pull it then put it all back in down here and then set it all back in and you got to do it add up and over the hood or take the hood but we're not going that route or maybe we are but as of right now we're not going that route so tomorrow we'll tackle this catch you guys in the a.m you know i couldn't go through the night without tearing into it a little bit see what we got here 15 mil uh bolts here just taking this bracketry off at the top everything is drained all the oil is drained this bracketry is on the top it's going to take this reservoir off or we'll put it aside probably take the reservoir right and get it the heck out of the way uh because we still got we need enough room for this ac line right here worst case we could we move the obviously we don't want to drain the system on the ac we just we just uh recharge that and that worked really great all summer so get these off move on to the next step i got a guy that's going to help me in the morning to pull this radiator out there's not much clearance in here but i think it's doable we'll see i thought i could take these hoods off the hood uh right here off the bracket and i did and i thought that piece was gonna move but it doesn't it's like welded on there or something so here's the pins i was talking about we're gonna get those off after this is all off but let's get the bracketry off first you're gonna want to pull all your hoses off nice and easy use a pair of pliers if you don't have the strength don't pry on that you'll break it there's a sensor underneath sensor underneath i already unclipped it make sure you get this off don't break that clip it is just plastic same bolts 15 mil this should be loose all right there's only two bolts holding this on and then we got the bottom uh hose all right bracket is down just a slight wiggle wiggle don't go too crazy and there it's off this should just slip up out it's in a rubber 
grommet. All right, let me stand up. Okay, you got some clips here. You're gonna wiggle this forward and up and out. Nice and easy. You do not want to break those clips. You see those clips are my fingers, all right? So make sure all everything's out of the grommet. Tip it forward and back and wiggle it. She'll come up out. Gonna have a little excess fluid, so tip it to this way. Tip it to the left. Finish getting your bolts out. It's pulled that one. Uh, what do we got? Nothing left in the front. Do 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 do. One here, one little one there that's in the shroud. I think that's it. Yeah, one little one that's in the shroud. I told my wife, no, I'm not get, gonna tear into it tonight. We got uh, my daughter's trunk or treat Halloween down at her, the school. I said, absolutely not. I'll be there. I'll be ready. Obviously, I'm going. I'm just getting this, getting this tore down half uh, just so I can see what I got for morning. That's what it always. Nah, I'm not gonna get into that today. No, no, no. 20 minutes later. Well, let me just poke and pry at this. All right. So then that is looking good. What do I got here? I know it's heavy. Hang on. Let's see what we got. We don't want to disturb anything else. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's she's got some meat to her. Come on. Had to step up on the next rung. Come on, what do we got? Oh, I see, I see. We're around the neck. Okie dokie. 10 mil. Might as well get to that now. Pull this. Oh, that's 8 mil. Get back with an 8. Alright, let's pull these clips. Or these brackets. They're not brackets. Come on, get it. Clamps. Get that clamp. Let's slide back our... This was the repair, I'll show you that. We're gonna have a little fluid coming out of this neck up on top that didn't come out. Really didn't want that on my. Hang on, let me get something. I'm trying not to get that all over my belts, you know. All right, we don't want to drop that all over the belts. Get all big nasty. This is just a little bit that's left in here because that is facing the other way. We'll drain that out in a pan. Could probably loosen this. Well, that would just go down. I don't know. We'll just let it drain out. Can't be much in this little tube right here. Can't be much. So this is the repair. As you guys see right here, this is where the crack was. And uh, the repair was, I mean, it would only, when I squeeze this like this, you could see bubbles coming up out. So when it got really hot, it expanded and wanted to crack. But who knows what that caused that crack. Could have been from getting, you know, working on the truck, someone stepping on this and pushed on that. but. I don't know. Could be from, you know, just the the factory mold went bad. All right, she is out. Well, not, not much in there, just a little bit. So one thing you're gonna wanna do is take these shroud bolts and pull them out because they are in the way. When you break, take that radiator up and put the new one, especially going down in, they stick in like this through here which could obviously when you're bringing that radiator and you could catch them so take these shroud bol bolts off so that shroud comes back and that's going to help us get this bracket out right now all right just took this hose off here um you're going to need that for your obviously put on the new one set that aside but this is the brackets yeah this is all loose here these are the four pins you just got to pull that clip there one two and then there's two there and there's two on the bottom then this whole piece slips up out. I mean, that's what I'm playing. That's what I'm going for. We have enough room to get around if I pinch this over like that quickly. Uh, I really don't like to keep pinching that AC line. This is all brand new lines that I put on, but it is what it is. All right, you're gonna get these clips off. You're gonna break these clips because you got new ones with the kit. But if you don't, don't break them. They just lift up like that. And it should just slip up and come out. If you break it, you break it, but that's what it looks like. I'm sure they're cheap. This is the pin. And that's it, right there. Four of these uh, studs and 
on top and four on the bottom. That's what we got. The ones on the bottom may be a little more challenging than the ones on the top. All right, here's the bottom ones. The other side's a little tighter because you got fuel lines and all that. We're just going to break these clips because we know we got new ones. We're not going to fight them and figure out which way they slip off. Just get in there and snap them off. Come on, baby girl. Get off there. Ah, come on. It's close. It's a close. There we go. Come on. Come on. Finish your way out. Finish your way out. Come on. You guys are hanging here. We got her. I was trying to hold you guys at one hand and get that. Make sure you get all these old parts out of here. All right, that's the last stud. You got to be a little creative if you're not going to take the bumper off and all that and grab their favorite pry bars and tools to get it out. It's going to be a little nightmare to get those little clips in in the back here. All right, underneath is pulling that clamp that's on the bottom of the radiator. Once this clamps off, she should just be able to come up and out. Oh, there we go. Okay, make sure you get this bracket tree off like I did on this. Then this shroud comes right back. I should have done that in the beginning. It would have made it 10 times easier to pull that out without chipping that. But like I said, it's just junk. Everything's out. I'm having a tough time getting this out like it's hung up somewhere in there. But I just wanted to free this up. I got to go... The Halloween party. Be back in the morning. Back in the yard next morning. We got the light plan out because we couldn't help ourselves and started tinkering at night last night. Uh, where I left off last night, I had everything unbolted with you guys uh, before the, before at night. And uh, it was free. You know what I mean? And I, I pulled that bottom stem and theoretically... If Kenworth's engineering, which I'm very disappointed because it was so easy, that could have slipped up out of the cage like nothing. There's nothing holding it, but there's bolts that go through in the bottom of that cage, which I'll show you in a bit. Let's open this hood. Well, first, I got the bumper off. You see that? Because it lets you get access. But here's those through bolts here in this big cage. We didn't want to take everything out. So theoretically, this should be able to slip up out of this cage. But there's bolts like that one. There's three here, three in the back, three here that bolt that cage together that hang in this far, that hang up on this ridge like this. So this uh, radiator hits it. Let me grab a pry bar and show you. See how that goes up and down? They're hitting the bolts in the inside. There's no reason for that. You can put your finger in there. There was plenty of room for this to slide up and out. But these bolts right there Okay, are going through and they're sticking in about that much and they're hitting the lip of the radiator. Bad design. Bad, bad, bad design. I, I just, I can't believe they did that because that would have been literally an hour and a half swap. Oh, Kenworth, you could have went from zero to hero with those. If you just had done that, it would have been nothing. So I got this shroud back. I pulled this off to get these bolts out. There's three bolts here. So there'll be six on each side. Right here, 15 mil will go in. And they stick in, well you see the rust line on that bolt, how much that sticks in. And it's hanging up. So basically if we took everything off, you wouldn't have to take this off. You, but you gotta take your charge air cooler off, your AC condenser off, your fuel and power steering cooler underneath. Uh, all this apparatus the top I wouldn't have had to take off because that's gonna stay on this cage This is the whole cage this metal cage that uh, You just lift off it with it and we may have to do that But I'm still gonna try to cheat the system and get this back get all these bolts off and open this up and spread it and I should be able to slide that out without disturbing All the rest of the truck. I still will have to get the fuel and power steering because I can't get to the bolts that's this right here and that's just a couple bolts I've already I replaced this in a video before if you guys want to see 
the fuel and it's this condenser right here I've replaced that already that's fuel and um, power steering goes into your power steering pump and these ones go into your fuel pump cools it but I got to get this back get probably this off get this right out again to get the bolts the, the bolts off there all right just back from getting coffee pulled my power steering lines pull them up with a zip tie they were down here then these are threaded fuel lines coming up we're taking that cooler off put my lines up here zip tied them up out of the way i'm gonna cap those so it was down in the fuel system got some bolts here again if you guys want to see a video of changing this i have one in the repair videos um and then uh we're gonna pull this out get it out get it out and away from the truck to be safe because we don't want to damage that i love these little these are home depot they're like 25 cents a piece they're caps and uh I, they come all the way from two inch all the way down to, to real small but uh i always put them over there for like on the bottom of uh furniture or whatever you know doorstop i don't know what they're meant for but i always protect everything with these keep everything clean even a hydraulic line coming off the machine because they're they're you know you got all different sizes you could slip it over and it goes tight and it will stop the flow all right everything's ready to come out of getting these top bolts the bottom bolts are out of the cooler i said when i put this cooler in i put never seize on these bolts and i said whoever takes this out is going to appreciate it little did i know it was going to be me uh because you can't get this on there and pull it hits this so once you break it loose you can spin it out with your hand bad design i got going here he, everything rolls off all the time i'm the worst especially in rocks try losing a nut in there i spent an hour last night looking for a bumper nut instead of knowing i could just go buy a new one i just pet peeve i gotta find the original all right one more here break this one loose and then hopefully i can pull this one out by hand too because it never sees yep nice thank you mike appreciate you doing that we'll get this out and we'll get the cooler out then adjust and see what we're doing we're still trying to cheat kenworth and trying not to pull this whole thing we're trying to no matter what i had to get the cooler lines off to do what i had to do to get the bolts out uh over here i got these three out because once this spreads then i get the three out here it's gonna spread a little bit. It'll give me enough room to get get this out, hopefully. That cooler's out, slips in and out pretty easy, but you gotta be very careful. It goes out that hole. Got here's the bolts, the through bolts that are hitting. See, they're just hanging up and hitting that like that on here. And that's the cage. So when you lift this whole cage out typically, and you would take those big bolts out, and this whole thing comes out, but you gotta take a lot more stuff out. That is what i'm taking out now and then that's what holds this cage together so basically if i still have to take the cage out i'll have to put these bolts back in to hold it together but i'm trying to cheat the system you know that trying to get it to work i got the front all done six bolts on the front use wd-40 spray the back sides of these make your life a lot easier getting out i got all the bolts out of this thing now she's loose you know she's lifting up and out so but the worst, the bad part is it's lifting out. The, the cage is staying in because of those two big bolts in the bottom. I took all the bolts out of here, okay? In a perfect world, if I get rid of this charger and the cooler, which I'm taking out now, the AC, and sliding it out of the way, uh, and then pulling this off, I might be able to pull these sides out and then slip it in, but I, I don't know. I mean theoretically if i know from the beginning i was going to pull the whole thing i wouldn't have took all of them six bolts on each side on this right here that, that was hard and you don't even have to take this off just this slide this back leave this on leave the whole cage together a charge air cooler and this and then hook a chain on it which would have had the, this top still on it and pull it up out with the skids here or whatever but i'm by myself only because of a bad design those dang bolts are hanging up in the bottom they got welded nuts on the back and that's what's hanging up the bolts are out but the welded nuts are out too far and it's hitting it and if the design wasn't like that two seconds pull this up out pull it in i mean that's the way it should be designed camworth come on pack car what's going on here 
theoretically this should just swing out of the way because these fittings spin on the AC condenser hopefully without leaking these are all brand new uh, getting this off this fitting spins in there but I still got it going up and around so that's got to get picked up and around so I got to get the rest of this boot off wow all right, my ACD, ACDC AC compressor is over here setting up here. These things rotate, you know, who knows? If they leak, we'll fix it. All right, air cooler's all unbolted. It's just flapping here. It's already separated. I got a guy coming here right now, my neighbor, for a favor. I helped him the other day. He's going to help me. Just going to pick this up off this U. This is shaped like a U, you know, it's like a hanger. Pick it up off, he'll feed it to me, and I should be able to pick it up. It's not that heavy. It's all aluminum. Get it out of there, and then I'm going to work on cheating a little more. Worst case, I'll bolt it back together, put the top back on it, and pull that. But at least at least there, we can uh, lift that up together and uh, not have to use a... I don't want to put an excavator up here. Everything's dirt. Everything, you know, it's just, it's just not set up right. That's all. I'm not complaining, but what a nightmare. All because of a little neck leak, you know? We'll get it, though. I got a lot of trucking to do this week. Not a lot, but I got jobs. I got to bring material, and I got to bring equipment. Mainly, this whole year, I've been using this truck just for uh, towing equipment back and forth to jobs. Not even hauling my own stone. I've just been subbing that part out. Got my boy Red here, my neighbor. Farmer Red. He's going to be my future employee. Hard worker. So, we just got the air cooler off. And still cheating the system, like I said. Got I didn't put those. I took those three bolts that I put back in out, and this theoretically should just slip out in my hand. There we go. There's the radiator. Take this. Set that there. Radiator should just be there. It is. I think I'll get her out now. Well, I cheated the system. It was a one-man band doing it this way. It didn't have a lot of lifting, a lot, a lot of heavy things. Besides the air cooler, which isn't that heavy. You could do that alone, but it's better to have two hands. We're going to get this thing out and uh, assess. There's the other bracket right there, which was here. I just pulled it off. Now, essentially, if you took everything off in one shot, you're just going to disassemble this outside the truck. It's a little easier because it's standing up here. Yeah, it may take a little more bolts because you got to take this off, but you would have had to do all that. You're just in a tighter spot to do it here. But I think this is a success doing it this way because everything's loose right now. We're going to pop it off. Yeah, let's just pick it straight up and I'll hand it and get it right on. Out. I got it. One man could put that, the new one in. So I do see on this one here, I don't know if you guys see me down here. Hang on. On here, the new one didn't come with this ground. This You got to make sure you put this ground on the new one, but it's riveted in, so I'll have to figure something out there. Just clean that all up in there the best you can. It's out. It's out. I didn't have to take this main frame out and all the other jazz that goes with it. You would have had to disassemble this anyways once it's out, so... Everything's standing straight. Might as well disassemble it in the truck. Yeah, Kenworth, I cheated you. I cheated you. And what I like about this, doing it like this, okay? Not only is it one man band, but, although I did have my neighbor come down and help me, but you could definitely muscle it out. Um, the only thing I like about it is that my stanchion's already built, and I probably already said this in the video, but everything's already built. It's standing right up. If it was out here and I had to disassemble, put the new one in, it's swinging in the breeze, you gotta flip it, flop it. Then you're fighting the radiator too because you're afraid you're gonna hurt it because it's gonna be on its side, then you gotta hook all this up. This is already half built. I'm gonna hand you the edge of the radiator. Yep. Ugh. You want this cap off the bottom or no? Nope, leave that cap on. Okay, I got it. Just set it right down in that hole. Just watch we don't hit no cores. Go in the trough. I got straight in that hole. There we go. Go right down in that hole. I think that plug's gotta come off. Push it, it'll push down. There she goes. 
She's in. She's in there. All right, that side slipped in there just temporarily. Just put one bolt in it. I'm gonna throw this side on here. It should just slip right in, like so. Yeah, I was trying to get the camera to turn the camera on for you guys, and I nicked the radiator right there. Hopefully, it ain't an issue. The stuff that you do for YouTube. I was holding the radiator in one hand, resting it on my hip. I didn't see the hood. So this is going to slip in. Like I said, the stanchion's already built. I'm just going to let it go in. Line the holes up. The first hole I'm lining up is this cross member because that's going to be the hardest one. Then once you get that in, they should all line up. Set your new pins in there. Get them lined up. They come right on out like that. That way we know we're, we're good. And then they get their clips on. Got my bolts all snugged up, not snugged up, just all threaded in. I'm gonna put it all together before I start yarning things down. Make sure all these line up because if they don't line up, then you gotta tweak it. I got my top on temporarily. Remember, we pull this out and then that loop goes right under there. Get your holes lined up temporarily, put bolts in it. But I can see right now this is not lined up. Come on. All right, all my pins are in on this radiator. Got them all in. Make sure you get them all in before you start yarning and tightening it down. All my 12, uh, 12 bolts are all good. Three, 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 and three in the back, all tight. So this thing is right tight. Gonna bolt that back together. And then next is the air cooler. And uh, But the radiator is basically done. All my cross members are all put back together. The top's on, but it's not... Um, bolted down yet but I that could go last because that's the first thing I took off so so I'm playing this smart now that I don't have everything in the way get your this all on because you know you got your lines for your power steering cooler and all that and before you put your air cooler on put that back on because you go through this big open area and set it in there not scrape it and fight it so we're going to put the fuel cooler on after I get this shroud all put back together put the other shroud back together hook my ground back up which is right here don't forget that and then uh like i said we'll or uh we'll be getting rocking and rolling very soon all right the shroud is all on make sure you get all your bolts in nice and tight ones at the bottom are a little tough but you can get it tighten up that bracket cover up any holes like this is in case a nut or something goes down there in there man god forbid you know the only thing i don't like so far i'm gonna get all my backer tree up everything's in all my clips are on these clips are tough in there i still don't have that one in there and i got the one shroud bolt to good but i'm trying to get everything before i call my neighbor back to put this cooler on i'll put my bottom uh bottom cooler on first but getting everything hooked up i see this isn't lined up and yeah, this is a flex, but this is where it cracked. Um, not even pointing at you. Hang on. So, see how this ain't lined up? And it cracked here before, so I'm wondering if that had something to do with it or this, this, this. This is a TRP aftermarket for Kenworth. It's Kenworth exclusive. Um, but I don't remember if that was lined up before. I may be able to do something with the bracketry over here and get that up because I don't like that. All right, under the truck, just snugging down that bracken tree to that shroud. Make sure you get that back all on nice and tight. All right, just putting the top plate on the shroud. A lot easier to put on without that air cooler because I had the rubber all up there and everything. That's how you get all these nuts and the bolts and you say, oh my God, I'm never going to get this back together. I don't know what's what, what's where, because they're all in one bucket or they're placed where you took them off. And, then you just take your time, breathe, put it right back together. Got two more bolts in that bucket. There was like 50 in there, so we know we're getting close. Well, it's easier putting in like this now. Again, for the camera, I just smacked my hood with it. <laughs> Trying to get the shot for you guys. So that's going to go sit in an animal bolt it up a lot easier than doing it with uh that other cooler on 
because the other cooler sticks out here and it's, it always grinds in here. Oh, we're one step closer. I don't know if I'll finish it today because of the light situation, but I got the light plant, but I don't want to rush it. I'll let this go into Sunday and put the fluid in all that Sunday, but I'm just get these in and snug them up by hand. I don't want to snap them off. Cooler is all in tight. Gonna hook up the lines. All right, fuel and power steering lines hooked up. One last torque on this compression fitting. So should be good. Everything's hooked up in that matter. Gonna, you know, obviously go through and I put all my tie shops back on, make sure everything's all tight and out of the way of steering components and anything else. Next up is the air cooler. The hardest part about this whole job is putting it in your head. It's going to take time and there's no really shortcuts. Obviously, I did it in a shortcut way of doing it for one person. And I think that works out pretty dang good instead of trying to rig something to lift that whole unit off. I don't have a shop and this was a lot easier and like I said even with it out than trying to get the new radiator in the cage and getting everything squared up lined up rubbing against rocks and even if you were hanging it from a stanchion it's still going to be swinging so uh again there was no videos on YouTube about doing it this way so it's pretty cool that I'm uh I, I had it in mind what I wanted to do and I did it I mean I, originally I just thought I could lift this right up and out and like I said Kenworth could have easily made that happen by just not having those uh, bolts where the bolts are, the, the welded nuts in the back. But whatever. So I got that up there. I'm going to look back in the video and see if that's at an angle. Um, it's pretty flexible. But there is something I want to show you guys with a clamp that could... Because there's two things that could have broke that. Either working on someone working on it, stepped on it and cracked that neck. Could be a manufacturer defect, whatever. But if you look, it's reinforced with metal in here, okay? If that clamp is all the way over here, pushing down, and that's right where it cracked. Cracked right inside there, past the metal. So if that clamp is too far forward, it's a no-go. And I do know that clamp was all the way touching that part uh, anyways. So hold the clamp to this bubble, like more that side than anything. All right, real quick, going back in pictures. This is before I took it out. You can see that pipe is lower than that neck, so we're good to go. Same scenario under here. Metal in there. Get her in. And uh, this is the bottom of the radiator. Get it in and uh, find its home. A double notch like that. And then feel where that rib is. And feel where the top rib is. And try to give it a happy medium. And don't... I don't think you got to crush these things, but we'll snug it up. Oh, we got a cooler in. So, the trick to this cooler is make sure you go, when you get it in, you could go around here, but it's not going to go in this way. You got to go up, over this, and then it slides down in and into this bracket. So, up and over. Hook up my lines. My orange goes right here. It's right there. Then... We have AC cooler and we're ready to go. We can fill this thing up. All right, we're losing light, but mechanically this truck's all hooked up besides the reservoir. We got the air cooler in there. Didn't hear no leaks with the AC, knock on wood. What did I just drop? Ugh. I'm on now. Oh, I'll have to reach out with a magnet. But I got one more bolt to tighten there and then just put these rubber shroud pieces here. And that's all done. Tomorrow morning, I'll throw antifreeze in there. I just want to change that antifreeze filter that's down in there first. Oh, we're under the lights. Got the reservoir. Now, there's two little bushings in there. Don't lose those brass ones right there. Don't pop out. You'll lose them. I'm going to set this where she's got to be. We should have only two bolts left. Let's get you up here. There you go. Oh, look at that. Now you lost it. Well, where did that go? Let's find that. Look, it's missing. The bush, and I just said. Oh, there it is. Got lucky. It's right under the hole. All right. Probably 
quite blurry on the GoPro because it's nighttime and doesn't like to do night things. But we're gonna put this on, and what I like is this clamp was the first clamp we took off, so it's the last clamp we put on. Get your bottom clamp on there and then your reservoir gauge for your liquid uh, the sensor that's a dry sensor too so it's actually not in the thing so you could change that sensor without uh, getting cooling all over you which is kind of cool but anyways everything is good to go tomorrow filter fluid run this bear down the road see what she's got Everything's back together besides fluid. Couldn't go to bed with that bumper off. That's for dang sure. You think I could wait? No. I just looked at the... I could change the filter with the fluid in it. There's a little shutoff valve. I figured there would be. Oh! I didn't do that the first bucket. This is my second bucket. Of course, because I'm on camera, that's how, what happened, but lost a pint. It's going to make the belt squeak real nice. Probably should have covered them. I'll spray them down before I fire it up. Uh, with the, the air, the air cooler, but 